What's going on everybody? All right, just want to make a quick video about this because I read this last night and I actually thought this was really cool. Ford is fixing to put something in their F-150 that can be really, really handy. And I know F-150s have loads of tech and there's a lot of stuff on there that's really handy, but this is actually really, really cool in my opinion. And the rumor is that the 2021 F-150 will have an onboard generator. So you won't have to buy a generator or anything like that to put in your truck. The truck will actually have one in it. And why is this big news? Because a lot of people use F-150s on job sites and stuff like that. So if you need to run a skill saw or you need to run some other kind of saw or drill or something like that, you can literally just plug this into the bed of your truck and you have power right there. But let's say you're an off-roader, you're an avid camper, you like to go over landing and stuff like that. A lot of people, you know, have coolers and, and stuff in their truck, or you may want to blow up an air mattress or something like that. You have a power outlet, a generator on your truck to be able to do that, to run heaters, to run whatever you need to run while you're camping or while you're off-roading or, or while you're on the job site. You can run a plethora of things out of the bed of your truck. Now, this is not gonna be some big unit in the bed of your truck, of course. Ford wouldn't do that, and nobody would buy it if they had this great big, you know, massive generator in the bed of their truck. And what I predict, if this comes true, is it'll be more like the Tacoma with their little outlet inside. It almost sits basically flush, and you don't even see it when you don't need it. And when you need it, you just kind of raise it up and plug in whatever you're wanting to use, and there you have it, you're ready to go. Um, now, I do want to say that COVID-19 uh, supposedly has pushed back production of the 2021 F-150 at least two months, but production is still predicted to start um, in the second half of 2020, um, if all goes well. And I really think this is pretty cool. I know Ford um, puts a lot of tech in their vehicles and that requires a lot of other companies to play catch up, um, you know, just to stay in the same league as them as far as features go. Now, I've always said technology kills reliability. I'm a firm believer in that. But a lot of people out there buy vehicles just for the tech. If it doesn't have enough tech, they go buy something else, which is why a lot of people don't buy Tundras and that and the gas mileage. But they all say Tundras and stuff just don't have the tech that the other companies do. And that's true because people love tech. This is a tech um, oriented society. And this is pretty cool, especially for the person on the job site that needs a generator from time to time and on a daily basis. And like I said, for you people that love overland and stuff like that, you gotta be excited about something like this. Now, is the F-150 the perfect truck for overlanding? Probably not. Will it work? Yes, you can lift it, put bigger tires on it and stuff like that, and it will work. Uh, but a lot of people for overlanding do prefer smaller trucks like the Tacoma or Jeep Wrangler sitting over there or something like that. But for overlanding, this vehicle will work and it does have an onboard generator. So it could save you a little bit of money or at least some space. Because when you're overlanding, space is a commodity and uh, you don't have a big generator in the back of the truck. So now that you don't have that big generator, you can store something else there. I thought this was cool. I wanted to bring it to you guys because I, I got pretty excited when I read that. I'm not saying I'm going to go trade my truck for one, um, but I just think it's a cool feature that they're adding. And I think that's forward thinking and good for forward on that for, you know, stepping up the bar and making other companies do the same thing. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.